Bloomberg. He shall pass all round with Bilbo Wagons. Not bad for a Thursday. Welcome to the lost town of Callahan, California. Population 250, or 251 and a half, for about a month or two while Bilbo Wagons and I were there. This is a small former mining town. It's nestled at the foot of Scott Mountain, about 45 minutes south of Wairika. You're not going to find a Walmart. There's no big food chain restaurants or stores. Hell, there's not even a Dollar General which is pretty common in these parts. All you'll find is Callahan Emporium, established in 1863. The town itself was established in 1858. It was named after M.B. Callahan, who opened a stop for travelers in 1851. Callahan Emporium is a bar and a store, and if I was to combine those two words, I wouldn't call it a bore, I'd call it a star. One of the reasons I spent so much time there is one, it's the first place I found when I was heading to Scott Mountain. And two, they had free Wi-Fi. And living up on Scott Mountain, as I did for about two months, I didn't have very good internet up there, so I would drive down to Callahan Emporium and use their Wi-Fi and have a beer or two and get my work done. Callahan Emporium no doubt has thousands if not millions of stories to tell. I mean, if you go there, you can read parts of some of those stories on possibly thousands of dollar bills stapled to the walls of this place. I mean, it's there's ones, there's fives, there's tens. I think the biggest denomination I saw was a 20. But there's also money from all over the world. It's kind of cool. time it right going there Friday nights is two dollar Coors Light pints all day and that was something I was really happy about while I was there because for some reason for a good bit of time I was there I was pretty short on cash barkeeps and locals are pretty friendly honestly I, I mean I suppose it may help a bit if you look a little bit rough around the edges like I did at the time I mean I hadn't been showering hardly at all and I was all scruffy Bill, Bill Bowes was all dirty. He's still all dirty. The cool thing about Callahan Emporium is there's always a bowl of water for your dog inside and outside. Billy always knew as soon as we walked inside, he'd head right for the water bowl, usually by the, the old fireplace. If you get the chance, go up the hill behind the Emporium and check out the cemeteries up there. They're super cool, super, super old looking. But just, you know, be nice and courteous and drive slow. I mean, those people's houses, that's their home up there, and you, you don't want to be a dick. There's only one other place still in business in Callahan, and that's the post office, and it sits about kitty corner from the Emporium. The cool thing is if you take a, a stroll over there, and it feels like you're in the old Wild West, and you can hear the pigeons coo above you, and the boards creak below your feet like you're in a Wild Western movie. And at the end of the boardwalk is old Farrington Blacksmithing Shop, Established in 1867 and closed in 1925. According to the plaque, they forge tools for the miners. If you really want to get into Callahan, though, make your reservations for steak night on Fridays. Fresh cooked humongous steaks with sides. I'm telling you, these steaks are humongous. Um, it's a wee bit pricey, but it's worth every penny. And uh, don't forget, it's also on Fridays, which is $2 beer night for Coors Light. If you go inside the little shop there, the store that's uh, literally part of the bar, um, you can pick up CDs for the local music talent, which there seems to be quite a bit. And um, if you're lucky, they might even be playing live on the night you enjoy your steak. <laughs> 